Hello all my truth seekers, welcome to The Truth Show. I'm Keisha. In this video, I will be talking about the age of Aquarius and what is expected during this time. And of course, a look back at ages before, especially the age of Pisces, the age. <laughs> yeah, the age of Pisces. If I could put it briefly, blind faith. The age when many of us believe in false religions and hopes. But what does this mean for what's to come? Well, let's talk about it. Please note that this is all alleged. I've never met any of these people. I've deeply researched all of my information. This is a trigger warning. In this video, I may be talking about or showing sensitive material about some subjects or topics that may be disturbing or upsetting or may bring forth some troubling memories, as you read in the description or title. With that said, either in the video now or brace yourself. Aside from that, enjoy. Lately, aside from trying to inhale all I could about the age of Aquarius. I'm also surprised by current and past events aligning with the zodiac signs. I mean, goodness, I'm flabbergasted. It makes so much sense. Even a non-believer would start believing. With that said, we're going to go back thousands of years. Yes. <laughs> The age of Taurus is primarily around the estimated time of 4,320 BC to ending around 2,160 BC. Now, Taurus is an earth sign that governs fertility, stability, wealth, agriculture, and land. During the age of Taurus, the agricultural civilization reached their peak. Oh, yes. Mesopotamia created money in a banking system and established the great ziggurats. Egyptian civilization was provided with rich soil for agriculture by the regular flooding of the Nile River. The bull god is also present in Assyria, Crete, and Egypt. The opposite sign of Taurus is Scorpio, the sign of death, resurrection, and immortality. Scorpio embodies the deep mythology of death and the afterlife in Egypt. Some days so cravely embraced in Egyptology, yes, and the symbology of the god Horus and the missing phallus illustrate the sexual mysteries of this sign. Apis, the bull-headed god, was one aspect of Thoth and one of the five significant gods along with Ra, you know, Amun Ra, Isis, Osiris, Amun, A-M-U-N, and Kunum, with Ram's head or Ram's head, depending on who's saying it, is the third aspect of Ra, who started to become more prominently worshipped in the age of Aries. This means these gods and goddesses ruled in this age. The age of kingdoms being built and money flowed through Egypt and the Roman Empire. And you know what came after that. War and bloodshed and a lot of it. Don't you want to just scream after hearing all this egotistical and agriculture power and, and all that power like oh what do you want to scream <laughs> i'm sure that's how they felt <laughs> they was seriously feeling themselves at that time then entering the age of aries these egyptian gods faded and transitioned to the age of aries no offense but the sign of great predominant chaos many issues secrets fake beliefs and facades look at courtney kardashian lady gaga little nas x and Elton John for many years before they came out. Mariah Carey, still a mystery. Robert Downey Jr., I'm, I'm not even getting into the crap that he did back in the day. And so on. This sign shows excellent talent, yes. Style, yes. And flair, yes. But so much freaking drama. Let's be realistic. No offense to my um, Aries out there. I love you, but you know, facts are facts. You see, Aries is a fire sign, driven, ambitious, individualistic, ruled by the star, not planet, star, Mars. Aries is the archetype of the solar hero, the singular person who battles and overcomes obstacles to achieve their goal, however noble and base. The journey from the age of Taurus to Aries is shown in the story of Exodus, where Moses led the Israelites out of Egypt. 
Moses was raised in the house of Pharaoh, meaning he was initiated into Egyptian mysteries. Still, as the attacks became too severe upon his people, he headed them out of Egypt and symbolically into the age of Aries. Oh, yes. First, there is Moses' rejection of the bull in the form of a golden calf and bringing in the ram by blowing the shofar, the ram's horn. The Ten Commandments are representative of Libra, the law, which is the opposite sign of Aries. There were great wars and the expansion of the Roman Empire during this period. Greek civilizations celebrated the Olympic ideas, the solar hero, and the virtue of individuality, casting off the stability, the stagnation of the old Taurus age. This was the age of iron, the metal related to the star, not planted, star, okay? Not planet, star. Mars, which rules Aries. China, Shang, and Chao dynasties were powerful militaries that overthrew the previous peaceful Longshan. Dynasty and ruled from 1850 BC to 1122 BC. Judaism came out of Egyptian culture via Moses and Christianity came out of Jewish culture through Jesus. This was the preparation and transition to the age of Pisces. Pisces is the sign of predominantly blind faith. Stars of this sign came out up tremendously financially during this age. Stars such as John Travolta. Remember Molly Ringwald from the movie Pretty in Pink and 16 Candles? Her? Rihanna? Erica Badu? Cindy Crawford? Trevor Noah? Cindy Portier? Drew Barrymore? And so on. But many of us were lured, enamored, and fit, infatuated by some of these people. Some of us now realize in some cases, have no idea why we were enamored with these people. Now, has the veil been lifted? Well, that was because we were in the age of Pisces. Pisces, the age of Pisces, which was estimated to have begun the beginning of this years that we are in right now, which is the... Um, the death of Jesus. Yes, the beginning ruling reign of Christianity and Jesus, which is the year zero. And estimated to have transitioned to Aquarius in the year 2020. I get into that later. You see, Pisces is a water sign ruled by the stars, not planets, stars, Jupiter and Neptune. It signifies the mysterious great ocean, which dissolves all forms and structures. During the age of Pisces, we see that although Rome was unified, it was starting to degenerate and begin its long fall. In India, Hinduism started to elevate the transcendent gods, Brahma, Vishnu, Shiva, over the warrior gods such as Agni. The opposite sign of Pisces is Virgo, the virgin, emphasizing chastity in many religions. Jesus represented the starting age of Pisces, the fish. Pisces expressed blind faith. I was believing even and forgiving and forgetting all of this. I was in that way of thinking. I know I was smack dead in the middle of this way of thinking for so many years, dismissing crap, settling for crap. Not anymore. I'm sure a lot of you may have felt that way. However, now we're degenerating from a blind faith and loving devotional approach to a technical, scientific, authentic self and realistic approach, meaning the water will wash away all the old ways of thinking and beliefs. It would not be tolerated or entertaining to any of us, hence the royal family's way of thinking and doing. People would start to see the truth in many lies. Christianity ruled for the last 2,000 plus years of this do what I say or be damned to constant hellfire approach. Shaming and scaring people to believe that Jesus and the church are the only way to eternal salvation. However, a statistic calculated tests have been taken and it seemed that most believers of Jesus are urban people. 
Yes, meaning Negroes and Hispanics were predominantly the most race of people who believe in Jesus dedicatedly. Believe it or not, most atheists are of other races. They don't admit it, but they don't believe in God and Jesus. What's outrageous is that Jesus never told anyone to follow him because he's the way to heaven. The church put that in there along with a lot of other sick stuff to get people to follow and worship them, the church, their way of thinking. These lies and more will become exposed. Lakes, oceans, rivers, and seas will rise and empires, marriages, towns, cities, etc. built on lies will fall and crumble. This feeling of tiredness and low tolerance and the need to express oneself will spread like a house fire. It will be like many people having epiphanies and eye-wakening experiences and saying and thinking, I don't need this. I'm tired. I can do better. It's over. I can't take this. Why am I dealing with this shit? And beginning sentences with, the truth is, oh yes. Oh, I'm not done yet. The metaphysical, symbolic, and mind-blowing electric shock and spiritual pouring of cleaning and purifying water and cleansing will awaken many people. It makes you want to cry thinking of the veils that will be lifted. The spiritual rejuvenation and transformation that many will take. With that said, take a look at all of these clips. So people are always talking about how we're entering the age of Aquarius, but not very many people actually understand what that means. So in this video, I'm going to talk to you about the significance of the astrological ages and what it means for us to be transitioning from the age of Pisces now to the age of Aquarius. It's a very significant time to be alive where a lot around us is shifting in the energy. So in order to do that, I have to explain to you something called the precession, one cycle of precession of the earth, which describes the movement of the earth along its axis. It's wobble, if you will. The amount of time it takes for the Earth to wobble around its axis, one complete revolution, it's 26,000 years, approximately. And so astrologers have divided up this movement into the 12 constellations, the 12 zodiac signs. And therefore, each age, each sign is about 2,000 years or so, okay? Because 26,000 divided by 12 is approximately 2,000. So we know which age we're in based on which sign the axis of the earth is wobbling toward at the spring equinox. And for the past 2,000 years or so, that's been the sign of Pisces. And it correlates to the predominant themes in the collective experience in a Piscean nature. Pisces has to do with sacrifice, great oneness and compassion, and connection to the universal consciousness and the predominant school of thought whether you like to admit it or not has been a christian rule the story of christianity is one of sacrifice it's piscean in nature the religion itself is a pisces ruled thing so as we're transitioning now into the age of Aquarius, we can see that the school of thought is shifting away from more traditional Christian or Abrahamic based beliefs into more scientific, rational, technological ways of thinking and behaving. The society, society is literally becoming more futuristic with flying cars and electric power. Okay. All of those things that you imagined. That's age of Aquarius because Aquarius rules science, innovation, the future and electric power. Okay. Now, what about the 2000 years preceding the age of Pisces? Well, that was the age of Aries. And so everything for 2000 years before time starts zero at the age of Pisces was Aries in nature. Okay. This is crazy because what did people do during the age of Aries? It was all about war and conquest and killing people for entertainment in the Colosseum, fighting them to the death against lions. And it was funny because Aries is about war and conflict. So that's what astrological ages are, and to be in this period of transition is really huge. Look at the last 2,000 years, right? We've been in the age of Pisces. Now we've moved into Aquarius. But Pisces, the opposite sign, the shadow of Pisces is Virgo, six months apart from each other. 
So that means that a lot of the archetypes that we're going to see through society during the last 2,000 years are going to be venerating virginity. That's what Virgo means. So why do you think we worship the Virgin Mary? That's what Pisces is. And and actually, if you look back through history, you know, you got Moses who comes down from the mountain and says, hey, what are you doing with the golden calf? Well, that's because they weren't in the age of Taurus anymore, right? They were now in the age of Aries. So now everything, all the symbology was the blood of a lamb. Put lamb's blood on your door. The lamb is going to come. Well, lions and lambs will lay together. This is the reference to the Messiah, the Messiah. But then by the time Jesus came, it was already Pisces. I shall make you fishermen of men. You see these macro patterns throughout history. The shadow context is this chaste, virtuous, judgmental aspect across society, both masculine and feminine, are looking at society saying, okay, well, it's better to be a virgin. It's better to be a chaste celibate monk or better to be a priest. The priest is, you know, you go back to Colossians or Corinthians where you've got the epistle of Paul. It's like, you know, if you're going to go be a missionary, go be a missionary. But people often misreference that because they think of it as, okay, you're going to be a missionary. You should be chaste and celibate. No, he's just saying it's easier yeah, to be has, a missionary. That hasn't worked out so well because every time we repress some aspect of ourselves, we create create darkness. We create ignorance of that thing. We believe we're only good, then we do things that are so horrifically bad to society. What actually happens in the age of Aquarius? Aquarius is known as the water bearer, but it's not a water sign. As soon as the age of Aquarius hits, the sea levels are going to rise. That's why it's holding the water. The sea levels are rising. So it's not because of man-made CO2 that these Democrats want to tax us on and kill jobs with. You cannot stop the sea levels from rising. You can't do it. Uh, in, in, in Indonesia, they're moving the capital from Jakarta because the place is sinking. You cannot stop the sea level from rising, but you can do what the Chinese did. Hotep, were you aware that the Chinese were building ghost cities in China? What I mean by ghost cities is not literal ghosts, but they're building these huge cities. No one lives there. Beijing is right by the sea. Shanghai is right by the sea. The sea levels are going to rise. These people got to move. When Erica Badu talks, you listen. I think that I'm more vocal now about this world, this 5D world, right now than ever because I think that everyone is receptive to it. So I feel, you know, more comfortable talking about it. You think because everybody feels that we can, we're fully aware something else is going on. Like this is all a mirage. There's something else after this. I feel like I feel like during COVID and after COVID, it's like the curtain got pulled back. They say that we're moving into the age of Aquarius from the age of Pisces. Mm -hmm. And the age of Pisces was the age of I believe. Now we're moving into the age of I know, which is so technology. It's the age of technology where you don't have to guess, you can see. The Matrix, it downloads things really quickly. We've moved into that age together. Our children were born in this age. Mm -hmm. So, yes, yeah, we're in a different time, a different place. We are now at the dawn of the age of Aquarius. Here's why it's important. The great year, better known as the Platonic year, is a 25,920 year cycle of the procession of the equinoxes. The ages change as the vernal equinox points at different star clusters as it rotates at a 47 degree angle. Each astrological age lasts for 2,160 years. On December 21st of 2020, the great conjunction of Jupiter and Saturn signified the dawn of the age of Aquarius. We've been in the age of Pisces since the times of Jesus. Now we're entering the golden age. We're moving past the old paradigm of separation, blind faith, and an external God and into the new paradigm of oneness and God within you. In Luke 22.10, Jesus says, As soon as you enter Jerusalem, a man carrying a pitcher of water will meet you. Follow him at the house he enters. We must break down the old power structures to enter the new age of unity, oneness, and 5D. Like, I'm dead ass. I think I'm actually reaching my breaking point. Like, I can't stand it here. I really need y'all to do more studies on the age of Aquarius because I'm finding more and more people are saying some of the same things. I don't want to be here. But let me tell you this. If you're feeling this way, I want you to give yourself grace and it's okay to grieve. But I'm telling you what I know to be true. We're going through a different age. This is the age of energy, the age of air, the age of the divine feminine, the age of Aquarius, like I said. It's really about a new shift in dimension. It's a new shift in perception. 
awakening, enlightenment, and ascending, the start of a collective ascension. Now, this is the thing too, though, because this is also the time of the collective consciousness. This is also why a lot of y'all are on here having all of this, this doom gloom party and pity party is because you're grieving what you have learned all your life was a lie. So you have this collective consciousness is also stuck in 2D, honey, 1D, negative D, and everybody's feeling the same way. So what you have to do is that you have to depart from the collective for a minute and you've got to get yourself in realignment because all you're doing is going to a place where all your life you've been told what to do. You've been told what to do. Now you have to learn how to do for yourself. Now you have to relearn God. Now you have to relearn um, how you think about relationships. That's the reason why men and women are having such a battle cry right now because everything we talked about relationships is wrong. It's no longer applicable to where we're going. And I think that's also a pain in so many ways because a lot of us feel very alone. We feel very um isolated but i'm telling you the truth like this is going to be one of the greatest human evolutionary times that we're living in i don't know who's all going to make it on the other side but i am determined to make it to the other side because i want to see the age go into the next state you're going to have to learn new skills you're going to have to learn relearn who god is like we always depended on a God outside of us. Now we have to depend on ourselves. I know y'all are going to, this is going to mess with you. That's going to mess with you. I know it's going to mess with you. But that is really where we are. God within is the only God that exists. The great awakening is hurtful. It's frustrating. It's extremely disappointing. You have a right to be upset. You have a right to be mad. You have a right to grieve. But I also want you to start learning meditation. Learn how to do breath work. Learn how to journal. Start documenting your thoughts and start teaching yourself how to think again. Because no one is coming to save us. And I know that's a hard pill to swallow. But only way to get where you want to be is that you're going to have to go through. I'm looking forward to the new earth. I'm looking forward to the new era. It's going to be a glorious time. Once we get through all this running amok, it's going to get to the other side. And it's going to be amazing. I don't know if I'm going to make it to the other side, but I'm determined to. We got this. You got this. You got this. As you know, during the transition, the people who are of these signs will go through a mind and spiritual shock. They will see things differently and change their way of living and thinking before greatness is thrust upon them. They will go through hell in the first two to four years of this transition. The Aquarius now will have a considerable enhancement in their psychic ability and the need to deliver the truth. Aquarius sign is already steeped in truth anyway and spiritual aspects. This period will enhance it. Meanwhile, before every transition, something chaotic globally would always affect everyone. Like before Taurus happened, Noah and the great flood occurred. There is not much evidence of this flood in Africa, but much evidence here in America. Then before Aries happened, Moses came down from the mountain with the Ten Commandments and led people out of Egypt after stopping them from praising a bull, the sign of Taurus. Then before Pisces happened, Moses explored Judaism from Egyptian culture and Christianity came out of Jewish culture through Jesus, hence the fish. Then before Aquarius happened, COVID-19 hit and rumors because of the 5D towers, hence the introduction to the new age of technology and truth. 
a true sign of Aquarius. Not to mention all of their tornadoes, tsunamis, floodings, and more that's been happening lately. Hence the sign of air is the water barrier. With all of this being said, to my truth seekers and cold Aquarius, stay strong and true and you will make it through. The church and society will spread a lot of scary religious and end-of-the-world material during this awakening to frighten you into staying with your belief in God, which is the church's embellishment. Thus, get ready for the release of many movies, documentaries, dramas, phony discoveries, etc. And New Age movies with extravagant weapons, etc. are in competition. Well, that's it. Let me know what you all think below. On that note, don't forget to subscribe, share, and like, and hit that bell so you get notifications when I do post my videos. Love you all. See you all later. Bye.